Hey, what's going on guys? Dopesar930 here, and in this video I'm going to be printing out the DaVinci 1.0 fan mount, setting it all up, and showing you guys my test print with it. Um, this is an item I found on Thingiverse I wanted to print out, but I wanted to add a switch to it in case I didn't want the fans um, in certain times, but it's supposed to make your PLA prints turn out better. PLAs um, are need, need airflow uh, more so compared to ABS prints, and it's supposed to make the resolution of your prints come out better as you can see here, so we're going to find out for ourselves. Um, luckily, with the DaVinci, this um, add-on wing piece that you need, the fan mount, um, fits just barely onto the max you know, bed, basically, as much as you can have it. So um, it does fit, though, perfectly on the bed. Um, I sliced it using Cura. Um, you can slice it using whatever you want, but for me, I've been using Cura Engine and been getting really good results. Um, I put it on 100% infill and uh, 0 0.2 density. And the speed, I've been keeping it at 50% and I've been getting really good results with that. So for my PLA prints, I actually haven't been using a heated bed. Um, I just, the, the DaVinci has one, but I just didn't notice much of a difference at all. So I decided to change that to zero and um, because I didn't really want the bed to have to heat up again, since it's not really doing much of anything. Um, so I put that to zero, and for my extruder temperature, I was getting the best results at 195. That's pretty much what I'm rocking right now for all of my prints is zero on the bed temperature and 195 um, for the extruder temperature. So here we have the end result looking great. Um, I picked up just a couple of fans from Radio Shack. Um, I should have probably ordered some online to get a little bit faster fans and uh, maybe a little less noisy, even though they're not too bad, but they're kind of pricey from Radio Shack, so I would stray away if you know if you can. But uh, yeah, so there isn't like any kind of clip or anything like that to attach this to the side of your printer, so all I did was, and what they recommended to do was basically wrap one to two layers of electrical tape, which... Uh, works really well once you have it on there it grips in nicely and it's not going anywhere as you can see on the inside basically i've got two wires running the um, positive wire is running to the front of the printer where i have a switch installed which i'll show you in a minute and the black wire the ground is running to the back um i also have a red wire running to the back as well but you can't see but um this thing is powered off the printer i ran it off of the uh, main board's power lines and then I took the two fans and just cut their wires really short and um, attached them together and uh, then basically ran the single wire to the um, back of the printer. And I just hot glued everything in place to kind of uh, make sure no electrical contacts are touching. But that's the switch right there. I found this cap on um, Thingiverse as well and I basically took it into my 3D modeling software and just cut a hole or um, you know uh, extruded a hole in the center of it. And um, that way I could fit my switch in there. And then once I had it all wired in, I just glued that into place too. So it's really solid. And as you can see here, I could turn it on and off as I please, which is really nice because if I'm not printing with PLA, maybe I don't want to use the fans. And plus when I was doing testing, I didn't want to have to use the fans anyways. But here is the results. I printed out two little Yoda characters. And I got to say, I didn't really notice much of a difference. Anything that you can see noticeable in this, in this um, picture comparison is more so the supports that were holding it up that kind of made it raggedy uh, on one more than the other. Um, I think the black wasn't the best color to use as a test print, but um, I'll have to run some more prints and I'll kind of give you guys more feedback as I've gotten more use out of it. But if you want to print out your own, I'll go ahead and place a link to both the cap for the switch as well as the fan shroud itself. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to thumbs up. Share, comment, and subscribe for more great videos. Dope Center 930, and I'm out. Peace, guys. Hey, guys, don't forget to hit the like button on the bottom of this video. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe for new great videos every single week, including monthly giveaways. Thank you so much for checking out this video, and I'll see you guys next time.